Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the HDA-929 4K ARC and E-ARC audio adapter. This product will separate the audio component from any HDMI media stream and allow you to pass that audio through an ARC or E-ARC connector to a newer soundbar or home stereo or through a standard HDMI connection to an older audio system. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant so you know it'll work fine with all of your modern media gear. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit and then I'll take a closer look at the ARC eARC audio extractor and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the audio extractor. You'll find a single 5 volt 1 amp DC power supply. You can plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the DC input port in the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important information about the audio extractor that you'll need to read through so you get the best value out of the product. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the product, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. The HDA 929 features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and the perfect solution for both commercial and residential installations. Along either side in the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature during operation. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, is a power LED. The minute you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics just to make sure everything is working okay. Once it passes that test, that LED will come on letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is an input LED. When you connect this up to a media device, that connection is checked as well. Once it's been verified, this LED will come on letting you know you have a solid connection. There are two output LEDs next to that, and these indicate a connection to both of the audio outputs in the back, and I'll show you those in a minute. Finally, to the right of that is an ARC eARC indicator. You can turn ARC and eARC on and off by tapping this button, and that light will come on or go off depending on how you've set it. To the right of that is a micro USB port, and that's used for updating the firmware later on if new versions come out. You'll simply connect this to a computer, move the firmware file to the module to complete that upgrade. On the rear of the product is where you'll make all your connections. Starting on the left, you'll find a full-sized HDMI port labeled Source In. That connects to whatever media device you'd like to separate the audio from and pass along to output devices. Standard HDMI connection there. To the right of that are three outputs, Soundbar, Out1, and Out2. If you have an ARC eARC product, you'll connect it up right here for the Soundbar, and that's where the audio is sent to your new Soundbar through that ARC eARC standard. To the right of that is an output for the TV. You'll connect this up to your monitor, and that'll deliver video and audio to the TV. Finally, if you have an older soundbar or audio equipment, you can use a standard HDMI connection from here to that older equipment, and that'll pass the audio from the input source to that audio amplifier. And then last but not least is a power connection on the right, and this is used with the included power supply. You'll plug that into a wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. The O-Ray HDA-929 is compatible with most modern HDMI media devices, including game consoles, computer systems, DVD players, streaming devices, and media players like Roku. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content, it provides full ARC and EARC support, it is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, it has an additional HDMI port for older audio systems, and provides automatic EDID management. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, in front of me I have a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor with audio in the background. And that's the media content that I'd like to separate the audio from so I can pass it along to a newer soundbar through an HDMI eARC connection. In front of me, I have the HDA 929. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from the monitor to the extractor and from the media player to the extractor as well as the soundbar. So I'll start by disconnecting the monitor from the media player 
and plugging that into the HDMI output port on the extractor. And now I'm all set to connect up the media player to the extractor. And I'll need another HDMI cable to do that. I've got a high speed cable right here. And I'll plug that into the media player and the other end of that into the input port on the back of the extractor. And now we're all set to connect up the sound bar. I've got another high speed HDMI cable connected to the sound bar and it's in HDMI ARC mode right now. And I'll plug that into the HDMI output. And now we can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it. Now the minute I add power to the extractor, it's gonna start an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics. It's also checking the media stream, the output sound bar, and the monitor. And once it finishes that power on self-test, you'll see the media displayed here and the sound through the sound bar. And it takes a second for that to all take place, the handshake for the HDMI arc and all the rest of it. And any second now, you'll see the media come up on here. And the audio should come through the sound bar in a second. If not, I may have to step through the different inputs. All right, let me do that. Bluetooth. It's on Bluetooth. In I'll step through. mode. USB. The sound bar has multiple inputs. Aux. But just to show you that it's HDMI Aux ARC VA. input. Optical. It's optical. HDMI in. Here comes ARC next. HDMI eARC. And there's your audio. So what you've got is a media player that's outputting a media stream. The extractor is gonna separate the audio and the video, pass the video to the monitor, and pass the audio through an HDMI ARC connection to my brand new sound bar for much better quality sound. So it's a pretty easy product to use, not a lot of complicated connections, and it just works really well. So it's just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray HDA-929 4K ARC and E-ARC audio adapter helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way of separating the audio component from any HDMI media stream and allowing you to pass that audio to a newer soundbar through an ARC or E-ARC connection or an older soundbar or home stereo through a standard HDMI connection. So that means you can mix any audio system you have today with your newer media gear and have full ARC and E-ARC compliance. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content, and because it's HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, you know it'll work fine with all of your modern media gear. Everything you need to get started to include it with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.